Okay, so I'm gonna head east. I'm gonna head east towards this long neck, and then there's one more long neck. Or is it a tall neck? I still don't know what the hell they're called. I've done multiple ones, I still don't remember what the hell they are. Let me get away from these idiots behind me first. Hook her right. And that should be the final two tall necks, and then uh, I'll just finish up the game, finish up the story. Right over here, 300 feet. Or is it meters? Gee, in the post-apocalyptic world, do they measure in feet or meters? It's very important to know this, because they definitely need two different versions of measuring in the futuristic world as well, just like the modern one. <laughs> this is stupid. There's zero reason for us to have different measurement systems. Never know when I might need these. This is very stupid. I don't even care. I don't even care if we used feet or meters. I don't care about what measurement system gets I'm being picked as the ultimate system. one. I just want one. All right, this way. Past all these chicken fuckers. Well, Alright, where is it? Does it? I must be closing in on the signal. I probably can't reach it from here. I probably gotta jump off from over there, I'm thinking. Where the fucking stupid chicken is. And maybe, hold on, I got an idea. It's probably gonna circle around. So I get to the edge over here, I may be able to do it. I think I'm in the clear. Jumping onto the tonic. Ha! Ah, I made it! Beautiful! Alright. Now I just have to reach its head. Very nice. Snuck right by the chickens. Cool. It's pretty cool that every tall neck is the neck is just slightly different. They're not identical. I like that. All right. Very nice. Let's see what this opens up. Whoop! The whole map there. Pretty much almost the entire map, just the one that's left up here. Yeah. The one tall neck, that's it. It'll open up the entirety of the map. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast travel. I'm going to fast travel to, like, here. And then I'll start heading north, but I'll hook her right here, and I'll get to the final tall neck. There we go. And then that's it. Then on to the story. Try to finish up the story. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This game is cool, I have to say. I do like it. I think it's fun. I like the, that some of the, like the cauldrons in particular are some of the best side content in the game. The tall necks are fun to climb. The, the variety of enemies is nice. The story is really good. I just wish the gameplay was a little bit better. And what I mean by that is the combat. I don't, I like it. I don't love it. Like I said, it does feel like a mishmash of other games. It doesn't feel original to me. 
so here we are. Drop down right here. And start heading off this way around the canyon. This is where I found that guy, the vendor that was hurt, wasn't it? I think so. This is the guy whose leg was fucked up. Okay. Well, I do like that with the story we found out what all the me mechanical animals are here for. Of course, now we just gotta find out what happened, what went wrong. Why is Hades trying to, to kill humans and all life? And why didn't Apollo uh, educate everyone like it was supposed to so they would have known what happened to the planet? There's still a lot of unanswered questions for the end of the game here. So we gotta hope that the game does a good job of answering them. I get the feeling the answer is going to be very simple. It all malfunctioned. <laughs> Everything malfunctioned. It was all working properly, and something happened with the with the war against the machine, and uh, it all malfunctioned and went wrong. And so the humans survived, but they didn't survive with the instructions they needed to find out what happened for real and how to how to fix everything. So they're kind of just stranded in this world that was ter re terraformed by Gaia. And that the machines are re-terraforming currently, but they don't, we don't know how to, you know, we didn't know about the past and everything. So we just made up our own mythology about it, rather than knowing the truth. Okay. Well, there it is. sending the signal. I'm on Earth. I gotta get over there. Yeah. Because I don't think any of the scaffolding here is gonna if be you're high here, enough. Show yourself. It's only Alex, fair. Oh fuck you. What are they doing here? Who's there? Looks like they're trying to capture another tall neck. high enough. I think I need to get to this higher area over there. It's hard to judge. Nah, I'm not tall enough. I'm not high enough. Over there I could have reached it. Shit. How do I climb? I gotta climb this fast. Here we go. Alright, what side's it gonna be coming on? Right hand side here. I should be able to get on it, I think. Yep. No, I didn't come close enough. Ah, fuck. That's a no-go. Yeah, right there. Where I am now, but how the fuck do I get up there? I don't know. How the fuck do I get high enough up there?
Jesus. You mean no ammo? Pick this one. Guys guarding this fucking thing. Picked up. Alright. Have you like got need... anything better to do? No, I don't know where to go to get high enough. From here, maybe? No, even here's not close we're enough. Up. Oh, we're right there. That was it. If I soup down, I'm not going to be making it in time. So right here or over there. <clears throat> what the fuck is this? It randomly selected a quest. Look. It randomly selected a quest. <laughs> yeah, right there is perfect. Right here or right there is perfect. Either either spot is good. I should be able to jump onto the tall neck from here. Okay. So I just wait. They got a corruptor down there. They activated. This is the trickiest tall neck because it's not just stealth around other robots. You actually have to not only find a tricky place to be, but there's a bunch of hanging enemies too. It's the trickiest one. Stay sharp. Eyes like a watcher. Close, too. Now to climb up to its head. Okay. The sun steps tall neck. Tall necks overridden. Silver trophy. There it goes. That's it. No more fog. I actually wonder where we're supposed to be. Like we're in we're in the world. Is it, are we in Europe? Are we in, are we actually in like the United States? Are we in Canada? We could be in a lot of places because there's been a lot of different environments where it could be a lot of different places in the world. So. Vantage. The only things I didn't do were vantage points. I don't even know what those are, right? Vantage. I, I don't I don't know what those are. They've been on the map, see? But the game never explained what the hell they were, so I never did one. Is there one that I could do really quickly and easily just to see what the hell it is? These that one's too far. Here. There's gotta be one. Here we go. Look. There's one right here near a campfire. So here's what I'll do. I'll, go, I'll fast travel to this campfire. I want to go to this vantage point and see what that is. Just for the hell of it. Because I haven't done one and I want to see what it is before I go to the end game of the game here. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. Vantage point, just to see what it is. And then I'm gonna go to the, the story missions and finish off the game. There you go. Okay, come on. Come on now. Come on now. Because really I'm trying to think. The only other side content I haven't done is all the miscellaneous missions that just honestly seem like time waster fetch quests and stuff like that. And I didn't do any of the hunts or trainings, which honestly are just kind of practicing with your weapons, which obviously I didn't need to do if I... If I'm at the end of the game, I obviously don't need practice with the weapons. <laughs> I obviously uh, was good enough with them. Okay. Alright, so here I am. Right here, it says there's a vantage point. Let's see what the hell this means. Showing us up. Up there? Right there. How do I get up here? There's got to be a way to scale this. Is this it right here? Yup, here it is. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here, Warhog. No distractions. Vantage cash. Oh, sticking to my armor. What am I looking at? Whoa, wait a minute. What is this? A pocket shit storm tour, day nine. I was setting up my tent right here when Wyatt's call came through. I came as fast as I could, but you'd already slipped into a coma. We never got a chance to say goodbye. Huh. So that's it. I guess it's showing the past. Although that doesn't really make sense because... I can't carry more. It doesn't really make sense. And the reason I say that... I don't want to do oh my god. That's definitely what I wanted, you stupid idiot. I wanted to draw my bow and look... That isn't that one of the buildings, right? Isn't that like supposed to be a skyscraper or something? If that's the case, then why in the vantage point from the past is it not there, right? Unless they're saying no, that's a new structure. That's one of the new structures, one of the new cities, maybe. Maybe that's what they're trying to say. Now I can't even get back up here. You son of a bitch! You gotta be joking. They won't let me back up. <laughs> Oh my god, so how am I supposed to get down? Fuck it. I guess I don't. Well, that's a vantage point. I guess because that's Meridian. So I guess that's a, that must be one of the towers from Meridian, right? And so what they're saying is... Yeah, see? What they're saying is, oh, that tower wasn't there in the past. That was supposed to be a view from the past. It was just like a mesa or something. Okay. What the hell was that? Uh, I don't think this game knows what's going on right now. Very confused. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna hit a bonfire, save my game, and like I said, I think it's now time. I've seen what the vantage points are. I've, seen, I've done all the long necks. I've done all the cauldrons. 
I think it's now time for us to try to conclude the game, which means the next mission will be the heart of the Nora all the way back at the beginning of the game, yeah. Because there's the original ruins, so yeah. We gotta go all the way back to the original campfire to Mother's Watch, into the, the All-Mother Mountain, and see what we can find. <laughs>